of 7. So now we're going to need, let's see, step 7 is this part. It's only one like it, so kind of can't get this wrong. So, okay, so they're saying now flip this thing this way with the extruder pointing up. So I'm sorry. The nozzles of the extruder is actually pointing down. And so this is going to slide into the aluminum extrusions. Now, let's see. I'm going to take this part and loosen the nuts on the back of this part just enough to where they don't fall off because it's going to fit on this side. And this is going to be a belt pulley. And so just as before, the right way to slide these things into an aluminum extrusion is to turn these to slide in like that. You don't want them to turn this way because they'll fall out. You get better friction and tightening when you're doing that way. So we're going to take this and turn it. And there's really only one way this can go since what's really cool, again, they pre-assemble this. So I'm actually going to do this. So I'm going to take this, slide it here, like this. Make sure it doesn't fall off. So, there. And the question is, how far does this need to go? I'm going to make an assumption that I'm going to pull this as far away as I can to where the both nuts are kind of the last one, that second one. I want to make sure that it's in the rail because you need that to grip, but I'm going to keep it on the edge for now. I can always slide it later and I'm going to tighten this one all the way. Both of them now I'm going to tighten them all. So that's kind of how that goes is if you can see that, it's kind of how that looks.